On January 9th, lawmaker Freddie Lim will face a recall vote in his constituency of Taipei's Zhongzheng and Wanhua districts. That same day, the DPP's Ling Jingyi will contest a legislative seat in the by-election for Taichung's second constituency. With just 11 days to go before the vote, the DPP held a press conference to show solidarity with Lin and Lim. President Tsai Ing-wen herself turned out for the event. They hold up placards as they stand neatly in file. With just 11 days left till their elections, Lin Jingyi and Freddie Lim appeared at the DPP headquarters in Taipei. President Tsai Ing-wen joined them as they got out the vote at a press event. I earnestly hope that these ill-intended recall elections and the abuse of power for political purposes by local factions will come to an end. On January 9th, we must win back constituency number two in Taichung, and we must regain Zhongzheng and Wanhua. That is the most direct and effective way to put an end to this battle. Today, once again, several people in Hong Kong have been arrested for disagreeing with their government. I wonder what will happen if my adversary wins the by-election on January 9th. What if Freddie has to leave after the recall vote for Zhongzheng and Wanghua on January 9th? What kind of people will take over those positions? Will they stand for Taiwan's values or will they stand for something else? Many people think that they can oppose a recall by not voting. We met a few people like that while we were campaigning outside today. They said, Freddie, I absolutely support you. It's so messed up. I'll absolutely not vote in the recall. That's not how it works, is it? I once again ask you all, if you oppose the recall, you have to go out and vote no. Lin is seeking to secure a seat in the legislature, while Lim hopes to hold on to his own. The by-election and recall vote are both scheduled for January 9th. On Wednesday, President Tsai issued a directive to members of her party. It's a fierce race. Over these days, we have to continue rallying for votes. So I urge all our party members, if you can, go to these two constituencies to help out. We must do all we can. The outcome of the votes might end up being a very close call. Let's do our utmost to win this electoral battle. My opponent's network is extremely well established at the local level. He has all sorts of power to mobilize people. So we can't take this race lightly. We can't look at the numbers on polls and predict an outcome. We can't afford to take it lightly and be optimistic. Lin has the full backing of the president as well as support from DPP lawmakers. On Wednesday, they wore t-shirts bearing her name, cheering her on in the fight to win a seat for the DPP.